The Biden administration reporting border crossings have dropped drastically after Title 42 ended, but they haven't stopped altogether. We know groups will continue to make that dangerous journey to get to the U.S., and there are aid groups who say they aren't here to be judge and jury. All they want is to make sure crossing doesn't become a death sentence. Buenos tardes. Buenos tardes. Oh, oh, Gail Kosarek's Spanish is limited, but she knows what matters to these asylum seekers found crossing into the U.S. through southern Arizona. Necesita la migra. She asks if they're looking for border patrol. This is border patrol. Yeah, hand them some water. This group is from Peru, and they say there are more people ahead of them. Gail and Mary Kohler are with Tucson Samaritans, and they hand out aid to migrants and asylum seekers in need along the border in Sasabe, Arizona. But as we come upon the other group, Gail realizes we're not alone out here. Oh, my God. This, this is not Border Patrol. This citizen border watch group stops the crossers and immediately begins filming us as we pass. Do you call Border Patrol now? Yeah, I'm going to. She's come to expect these encounters now with tensions high surrounding the border. But she and Mary don't let it stop them from doing the work. Just hours earlier, we caught up with Gail as she loaded up the SUV with food and water. It takes about an hour and 15 minutes to get to Sasabi from Tucson, and it turns remote quickly. Gail pulls over after spotting a blue flag. So this is Humane Borders water tank, and it feels like the water level is right about here. Humane Borders, an Arizona-based nonprofit, tracks immigrant deaths which have been marked by red dots on this map for 2022. A lot of that happens in the Sonoran Desert on the Tohono O'odham Nation, which Gail says doesn't allow the Samaritan groups onto their land. That's why she tries to get as close as possible to the most common border crossings. These humanitarian aid groups do so much work on the Arizona side. And while this border wall may separate Sasabe, Mexico from Sasabe, Arizona, doesn't stop these volunteers from carrying their work across international lines. Two years ago, the Samaritans, along with Salva Vision, opened up Casa de la Esperanza in Sasabe, Mexico. It's a shelter for weary migrants to rest. And that's where Mary can keep up her nursing skills. I'm looking for dizziness, are they, ha are they lightheaded, any of that kind of stuff. But um, wounds are probably the biggest thing that we see. Somos Samaritanos! Necesita agua! Gail spots a lookout. Maybe he's going to get more people. He never came back. But like they've done many times before, they leave water behind, hoping to save the lives of people they may never meet. So Gail told me when migrants or asylum seekers do stop at the shelter in Mexico, they stare at that death map that's up there and all of those red dots. She says she doesn't want to scare them, but she hopes it does show them that the trek could be a gamble with their lives.